So it's 55.2 to be squared. And it's the square root of that particular product. So let's just do it in, in stages. Let's calculate the numerator first. So we have R is equal to, on the calculator here, it's 9 times 323.2. That gives us 2908 minus 50.5 times 55.2. Okay, and that gives us a value of 121.2. Let's calculate the left factor here, which is 6 times 303.75 minus 50.5 to be squared. That gives us a value of minus 727.75. Okay. And now let's do the right factor here. It's 6 times 381.34 minus 55.2 to be squared. That gives us a value of minus 759. It's important, because we're dealing with a square root, it's important that either both factors are positive or both factors are negative, because we can only ever get the square root of a positive number. So let's calculate this product here. So this becomes 121.2 divided by the square root of well we have seven minus times minus is plus we have seven two seven point seven five multiplied by seven five nine gives us five fifty five five hundred and fifty two thousand three hundred and sixty two point two five and let's get the square root of that so we end up with or is equal to one hundred and twenty one point two divided by the square root of 552362.25 gives us a value of 743, let's say, 0.2. Okay? When we do the division, we get 121.2 divided by 743.2 gives us a value of 0 0.16. So what we're saying is that the association between Dragon Isle and Ryanair share price is 0 0.16. Okay, let's interpret that value. Okay, so we can interpret the value in many different ways. Okay, and I suppose a rule that we're going to use is look at the we're going to look at the number line. We know that the correlation coefficient is a value between minus one and plus one. It can be equal to minus one, it can be equal to plus one. We say if it's either minus one or plus one exactly, we say that there's a perfect positive correlation or association. If it's equal to minus one, we say there's a perfect negative association. And then it could be around zero, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to create intervals across this. Uh, the interval here between plus one and let's say 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 and minus 0 0.3 and let's say 0 minus 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 and minus 0 0.7 and minus 1. These intervals, just so you can interpret them, okay, are half open, half closed intervals. A square interval bracket is inclusive of the of the value whereas a round bracket is exclusive. Okay. Now for our, for our calculation, the correlation coefficient R came out to be 0 0.16. Okay. 0 0.16 lies in this particular interval here. R is equal to 0 0.16. To interpret these intervals, okay, uh, it's perfect if it's outside. There's a strong association if it's in this interval, there's a strong association negative if it's in this interval, there's a moderate association or a medium association if it's in this interval, there's a moderate negative association if it's in this interval. And for our purposes here we say that there's a weak association if it's between minus 0.3 and plus 0.3. That is a weak association. Okay.
So in our situation here, uh, our result, the result would indicate would indicate a weak association between Dragon Isle returns and Ryanair returns. Okay. Uh, okay, and that's it. Okay, so I hope that video was instructive. Uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Okay, thank you.